And that's the way that sin works. It's so insatiable. When you open that door, you give sin an inch, it's going to take a mile. And so it's not to say that you got to live a perfect life, but it's to recognize that, man, at the end of the day, after we indulge in all of those things that we said, oh, we want right now, we pay for it bitterly. And it gets harder and harder to come back after we deviate. What is up, everyone? We are back with another episode of Shaping the Culture. Now, like, let's just get to it. The whole secular, sacred divide. There is no distinction in, in the scriptures. Some of us have trust issues with God. And right, some of right. us, yeah, it's like, does God really got us? You can't engage the culture with the gospel that first has not engaged you. Like, you know how people are like, oh, that's just who I am. No. no. <laughs> keep, 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 keep. Drop the mic. Drop, drop the mic. Drop the mic. Shaping the code. I'll be honest with you, as a single person, um, because we're looking for a spouse, we think it's okay to look here, to look there. Why? It's innocent. It's potential. Maybe there's something here. Let me explore that. And I, I was having a conversation with a married friend of mine, and he's just like, yo, I had to get off Instagram altogether because once I got married, I didn't realize that I had trained myself to constantly check women out. And so can you speak to what self-control looks like? It's not just with body count. It's not just with, you know, you, you fighting all of these different experiences in the bedroom. But it's also once you get married, you're like, oh, man, if I didn't live a life of self-control and singleness, that's going to be a hard pivot once I get married. And so what does that look like to be self-controlled in both seasons and how that shows up um, to, to help us and benefit us? Man, that's such a great, great point. I think we don't recognize the power of indulgence and appetite. Mm -hmm. So yeah. because I'm into fitness and stuff like that, yes. I realized, man my wife me and my wife always talk about this all the time i'd be like man let's just get one burger let's just get one burger we love burgers or just like one cake and when we're on our serious mission and and we both know like if we do eat this it's gonna open that, that door mm. and there's something that the the door that is open is for that compromise because once it once that the taste buds open to that particular type of taste then now the world, the, the the drive and the appetite completely changes. Cause I was good when I was eating my my di the stuff that was in my diet, but the minute that I let something else in, then now the diet is gone. I'm ready to rock. I'm ready. To, we can't even go to bed because now we're thinking about all types of other stuff. And that's the way that sin works. It's so insatiable. When you open that door, you give sin an inch. It's gonna take a mile. And so it's not to say that you got to live a perfect life, but it's to recognize that, man. At the end of the day, after we indulge in all of those things that we said, oh, we want right now, we pay for it bitterly. Mm -hmm. And it gets harder and harder to come back after we deviate yeah. so much. Like when I back when I was young, I'll be able to bounce back. The yeah. older I get, the harder it is to bounce back after I fall off my diet so hard. Yeah. And in the same way, when you train yourself to deviate from, from the plan that you have set, you will realize that it's hard to get back on. Last thing I'll say is about honoring yourself. And I made a post about this. I think sometimes, you know, there are so many men that haven't cheated, cheated on their wives because they hate for her to find out, right? They'd hate to get found out by, you know, the brethren or the church and they, they don't want to be known as a cheater. But I'm like, that's a, that's honorable to a certain extent. But what about you? Wow. You never thought about dishonoring yourself and how, much of a travesty that that would be that you made a commitment before God and to yeah. yourself that you were going to honor God with your body. Purity doesn't end when you when you get in, in your marriage. Yeah. God is expecting a life of purity while you're in your marriage. Yeah. And so that what when when God says you're pure, when you accept his righteousness, honoring yourself just looks like honoring what God said I was. Yes. So if God says I'm righteous. If God believes that about me, then me honoring God looks like me honoring his word about me. Yeah, That's what yeah. honoring myself looks like. Yeah. So before my wife is in the conversation, I'm disciplining myself because it's stewarding the call, it's stewarding the endowment of God mm -hmm. on my life. Mm -hmm. And so I think some of us are so just caught up with what it's going to look like and if somebody saw it. That way, like, 
really your integrity is really upheld by other people. It's upheld yeah. by somebody finding out. So what if you're in a, within the perfect opportunity that nobody can find out? Right. Then you have no integrity. Right. And you really are just as good as uh, an adulterer because you're going to take the opportunity in your mind. You're going to take the opportunity in the closet as long as nobody finds out. But if you honor yourself truly, it doesn't matter where I am. It doesn't matter who's watching. I honor myself yeah. no matter where I am first. So my wife, she's not even, she's not in that conversation. Yeah. It's me and God. And what am I going to do with what God said and what he's declared about me? Wow. That's so good. As you're speaking, I'm reminded of Joseph who like Potter's, Potiphar's wife is trying to get at him. And she's like, nobody's around. He's like, well, my God oh. sees, <laughs> bro. my God sees. And so, no, bro. that's powerful. My God sees, bro. Yeah. Like, but that's so anti dude code. Like bro <laughs> code is like, look, bro. Yeah. Like you need, especially, and let's not negate the fact that there are some situations where some men feel like starve sexually, even in marriages, or mm. there's men that feel like, man, I cannot control this. And, and well, let me just watch porn. Cause at least I'm not doing this and mm. all of these justifications we have in our mind. So mm. I'm not going to act like it's not difficult. It is difficult, but it's a decision that it needs mm. to be made when you take, take a step back and look at the big picture, honoring God and being disciplined is so worth it yeah. it's worth it man of god yeah. it's yeah. worth it woman of god like yeah. just yeah. keeping to, to his word and doing what he calls you to do you won't regret it so I, I i acknowledge the difficulty but it's worth it